St. Isabel's Hospital It is centrally and strategically situated at the heart of Chennai, the capital city of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It was in March 1949 that St. Isabel's Hospital came into existence. St. Isabel's has about 300 inpatient beds which are fully utilized by over 22 clinical departments governed by an efficient management team to ensure that all the staff members over 700 of them in all deliver high quality of care dedication and commitment St. Isabel's provides the following facilities outpatient services throughout the week from morning till night for most specialities St. Isabel's is known for its personal care and understanding towards each and every patient. This hospital is mainly known for the quality care in obstetrics gynecology. The patients from generations come here because the patients nowadays, their mother's mother has been brought, born here, that the generations are continued here. Isabel's now has been recognized in the top research institutes across the globe. We are now into the top-notch uh, nano research and uh, <coughs> We are into some form of clinical trials soon on gastric cancer. St. Isabel's provides 24 hours emergency consultation and treatment at the casualty with an excellent accident and trauma care department. Master Health Checkup Investigations Round-the-clock advanced lab facilities Radiology and imaging services Special investigations that enable accurate and quick diagnosis and treatment a well-organized hemodialysis unit that is managed by the expert nephrology team is an added strength to assist the alarmingly increasing number of renal failure patients. With a hospital of this caliber where we cater to a lot of patients and the hospital is always busy and full, the need for hemodialysis need not be overemphasized. The scientific advancement has really helped us to tide over a lot of crises. We also do what is called plasma pheresis, which is done by using the same machine with a different type of filter, where we have done plasma pheresis for one patient with anti-GBM disease as well. We have actually saved a lot of acute kidney failure patients, obstetric renal failure patients, where the dialysis unit has been a real lifesaver for these patients. Critically ill patients experience real life in the intensive care units. Medical, surgical, cardiac, neonatal and pediatrics high dependency unit are under the able care of the specialists in internal medicine, surgery, cardiology and pediatrics. More than anything else in newborn, nursing care becomes very, very, very crucial. Hence, it is important that we develop a good team of nurses along with a good team of doctors. Without them, these equipments would mean nothing. Now presently we have the highest form of, one of the best forms of ventilation including high frequency ventilators, we have transport incubators, we can treat most of the diseases of newborn in our unit itself. Inpatient services are available in the general ward, cubicles, sharing rooms, single rooms, air-conditioned rooms and deluxe rooms. A number of my patients subsequently have told me that they like Isabel's because of what they call the home-like or homely atmosphere. They say it is not so much like a 
hospital as like a home. Personally, I've been associated with this hospital for over 40 years. But the sisters take special care of the bishops and priests and religious who are admitted in the hospital. I don't know how to appreciate the hospital, the staff, Sister Mary with you, Dr. CVK, and each and everybody, the nurse, doctors, servants, peons. Excellent, the treatment. It was grown to a 300-bedded hospital with the staff numbering about 700 and above, including the nurses, class 4 workers, doctors, paramedicals. The hospital has eight well-equipped operating theatres with state-of-the-art operating tables, lights and latest equipments to carry out complex surgeries in many specialities by experts in their field. During Sakalakala Avalavan, I had a massive glass injury. My face was torn here and for an actor, face, they say, is important. And so I was a bit worried and Dr. Matangi performed a surgery on me probably a couple of hours or something. Nine stitches, which has to be done very carefully because it's a face and she left me without a scar. I'm a standing proof of the service and quality of Isabel, my face. School of Nursing The School of Nursing in the hospital campus was the first initiative of the hospital management in the field of professional education for young girls from the middle class families, preparing them for selfless service of the sick and suffering humanity. College of Allied Health Sciences is another venture to train young people in laboratory technology courses as the management felt the need for a strong paramedical support system in order to enhance the health care. St. Isabel's is specially known for its quality nursing care under the supervision of the efficient medical and surgical team of consultants. Diplomat of the National Board, DNB, is the postgraduate program for the doctors. St. Isabel's Hospital is accredited by the National Board, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, to run DNB in obstetrics and gynecology and general surgery. Realizing the need to keep up with the ever-growing health care facilities in India, St. Isabel's has registered itself to be accredited by National Accreditation Board for Hospitals. We are definitely going on to the accreditation of the National Board of Hospital Accreditation Committee in India, which is at par with the Joint Commissioner International of the United States. And then the International Standards for Quality in Health Institutions Care. Sort of, in today's scenario, this is the best possible accreditation you can have. In Tamil Nadu, only four hospitals have been approved for that, and we are in the process of that. So, see, this indicates, once you say that this hospital is accredited to that NABH standards, it means you are global, really. No doubt, soon, St. Isabel's will be one among the accredited hospitals in Tamil Nadu. The relentless team spirit within its medical teams, high standards of nursing care, a patient-centered approach in all that it does, coupled with dedication and humanitarian service, makes St. Isabel's the preferred hospital in the city. One might wonder, in spite of so many super-speciality hospitals that have come up, why St. Isabel's is still the preferred hospital for many. When you come here, you see the nurse, the person at the counter, the sisters, and the way things are done here. At every touch point you encounter, there is that charism of hospitality. You are welcome there. And I think that is the experience that brings me back here. Obvious enough, it is the charism of the Franciscan Hospitaller Sisters, which is the foundation and the driving force behind all what happens here.
It is these simple sisters with their zeal to serve God in serving the humanity who are the pillars of St. Isabel's Hospital. The Congregation of the Franciscan Hospitaller Sisters of the Immaculate Conception was founded in 1871 in Portugal by Blessed Maria Clara and Father Beirao to care for the sick and the abandoned. It is the in the year 1886, the first Portuguese sisters set their foot on the Indian soil at Goa. Soon, their passion for Christ and passion for humanity brought them to the southern part of India, Chennai. Thus, in the year 1949, just a handful of Franciscan Hospitaller sisters started a maternity nursing home. My name is Lily de Cruz. I came to Madras in 1940. I like to do the work as Mother Clara had done. She was doing for the poor, so I also like to do the same work what she had done. Medicine and education in India um, has been thanks due to the Christian missionaries here. The service they have done to man is very touching. I think the presence of the sisters here makes all the difference. Because of their godly attitude and their tendency to be very kind and considerate, the whole hospital has that atmosphere. So not only do they have very good equipment and uh, a very clean atmosphere, they're also very kind. This is what I think makes Isabel special compared to every other hospital in Chennai. The oldest, Mary Mithu, I love. She's like my mother, so lovable. She has a divine power, her divine touch heals everything. You know, when I have a choice between choosing between this hospital and another, many times I tell you, Holy Communion, which is given here to every Catholic patient, has been a deciding factor. And see, my father is getting so emotional when it comes to that. And our founder has said, be perfect angels of consolation to the sick. So that has really inspired me and I really cherish and I like to work for the patients, for the sick. As an individual, I aspire to be the same, to be an extension of Jesus in his healing ministry, to bring his love and healing concretely. I feel a lot of satisfaction to love them, take care of them. We are really blessed in this place to care for so many people, poor and the rich. I have encountered so many poor people come to Isabel's for treatment and maximum concession has given by the sisters which the patient cannot be paid for the full hospital bill. I also feel happy to work with sisters. That's a family like we are working here. No other hospital will give this much of care and concession to the poor. Not only me, other staffs who are working with us, everybody feels happy to work. Yengalke adiga padiyana nalla paramaripu unde, padga pu unde, nalla kavani pu unde. Yeng vid leir karonge yallar gan nalla budiya odavi seiranga. Nangge yallar na sabal sila vela seiya romba sandosham. Inna sandosham aavo nangge vela seiya yallar.